As Fashion Week kicks off today, there was a star-studded event last night that was one part fashion, one part raising awareness of men's health issues, especially for those with prostate cancer. Here from Shannon Ferry has more from the Blue Jacket Fashion Show. The traditional blue blazer is reimagined on the runway to raise money and awareness for prostate cancer. The fourth annual Blue Jacket Show intertwining fashion and philanthropy at Pier 59. I'm telling guys to go and get checked, and actually I got checked myself last week. If the reason men don't get their appointments is they don't have time, something else came up, they forgot, but the real reason is they're afraid. The event brings together survivors, designers, and entertainers every year to coincide with New York Fashion Week. Frederick Anderson says he originated the show to encourage early detection and prevention. In the United States, one in nine men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer, including one in seven African Americans. I've been in fashion for 20 years and I've always done women, women, women. I'm like, what do the men do? So this is something for the men. Prostate cancer is also the most common cancer in men after skin cancer. And if it's caught early, treatment is highly effective. Mike Crosby is a prostate cancer survivor. I did not go through surgery like a lot of guys. So there's technologies out there that are available. It is proven. And once people are less afraid to talk about it, that's how you can really find out if issues are happening. Participants say wearing blue is especially meaningful because it's the universal color for prostate cancer awareness. And if we can raise money and have fun and look cute. Wear blue. Wear blue, which is the only color I can wear, um, then I'm all for it. This is a little more conservative than I usually wear. I like it. I like the floral in the middle, too. And by creating a lighthearted environment to bring attention to a serious health issue, organizers hope people can start to feel more comfortable talking about a disease that currently affects more than 3 million men in America. Shannon Ferry, New York One. It is 726, so we'll take a break. Good morning, everyone. When we come back.